guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. I just touched up my hair. Let me fix that bun. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you the junk that we thrifted or bought at yard sales or got for free or people <laughs> dropped off. And we tell you what we paid for, what we're going to do to it, and what we'll sell it for in our shop or on our website, which is jamierayvintagehome.com. So Zeb's going to, as always, bust right into the nitty gritty and show you guys all the fun stuff. I'm going to pull up comments and we'll get going. So one of the fun things we did this week, um, so there was a yard sale that started Friday. It was more like an estate sale. Someone had passed and there was a bunch of stuff going for super cheap. And then Jamie drove by it today and they were giving free. stuff away for free. This is one of the things, there's several of them. The person loved to do wood crafts and things. And this was one of the free ones, just a little sled, wall hanger, I don't know. I picked up, she had like six of them and I thought they'd be really great to repaint and do a fun JRV Christmas stencil on, give a little update, and I can't pass up a cute little sled for free. No. So we'll probably sell them once they're painted and stenciled for probably about $15 to $18, depending on how cute they turned out. So I went on Friday and I grabbed all of these butterflies off their table. Same yard sale, but before it was free. Yeah, before it was free. And I was like, hey, what's your best bundle deal on this? They're like a dollar. So I got all these, this one's, this one's resin. This one is a wood cutout. It's bigger. I love that my husband is stopping this at random one yard sales buying butterflies. Is wood. So all of these were a dollar for all of them. Not a dollar each, a dollar. <laughs> and then there's a couple of these flowers. And some more resin butterflies. Oh no, my phone's not on charge. Hold on. Is it now? No. Probably not plugged in on the other end. Don't die, little phone. Oh, no. You gotta have that for comments so we can see what you guys are saying. Well, so yeah. I thought that that was a pretty good find. Uh, a dollar for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight butterflies. Well, I might die. Hey, careful over there. I might die a junkie death. Hold on. There's stuff on the side of the table. You gotta. You gotta get your best mountain climbing shoes on <laughs> to get over there. I survived. I don't. Oh. And somehow your phone decided to have sound. Yeah, all it of a didn't sudden. have sound aside. All right, though. butterflies aside, Jamie thrifted this a little four dollar mirror. It's pressed tin with the mirror in it. It'll get a nice fresh paint job to make all that detail pop a little more. Oh, we'll that, it, it just needed to turn underneath. the other way. Oh, I my see. phone's weird. It's getting old. It's it's almost got a year under its belt. It's that time when things start I happening to it. Phones. It's been dropped about eight thousand times, it's and been, the battery's well, dying. There was an unfortunate accident with a heat gun. The screen is not cracked yet. That's a bonus. Um, Lucy says, "I love the cabinet you thrifted for forty dollars. You guys want to see the cabinet in case you haven't seen it on social media? When I was out thrifting today, I found a cabinet." And I thought that would be perfect for the farmhouse. And turns out it was the exact right size. Let's see if I can find that on here. While she's looking, is this pig creepy or not? Sometimes we it's have some creepy, creepy so looking there it is. pigs. 40 oh, bucks. Here's the picture. And Zeb doesn't have to build anything. Here, I'll it's hold it perfect. close. Sorry, your arms are longer than mine. So that is over in the corner by the, uh, the pantry and the back door. Yeah. If it would have been a quarter of an inch wider, it would have been too wide. I was super excited about that because I've been looking everywhere and I did find one I did like that was more old and it was $1,800 and I'm not about that life. So I was like, forget that. So this, the, the glazing on this is uh, cracked a little bit. It is a coin piggy bank, but it's missing its stopper underneath. It was a dollar fifty. you can pick those up. Yeah, or you can just like put a piece of cork up in there. You can get cork at most craft stores. And really, I'm not putting money in it. It's, it remind, I think it's probably from like the 70s or the 80s, just guessing by the... I see no maker's mark that I can tell on it It anywhere. was cute. Am uh, I going to paint it? No. Oh, the hutch is getting painted white. The, the hutch pig is white. not getting painted. I like the pig as... I mean, the pig's already white. So, so far, the white on white on white theme is working at the farmhouse. It's really brightening it up and it's making it look really fresh and clean, but not... It's got enough old texture to the house and the finishes that it's not looking clinical. Yeah, well, and I like lots of white. When I redid our current house and I was doing white, 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 people were like, you're going to hate that. A few years later, still love it. <laughs> so I picked up also at that same yard sale, they had a bunch of these wood plaques. 
the lady painted on these like duck scenes and Easter stuff and all I'm kinds of the things. Cute piggy over here. We, I thought that they would be fun to do stencils on. They're, they're like wood plates essentially. I might even do some fun platters out of them, do some turned bottoms and make some big platters, oh, like, like a cake, cake plate. plates, yeah. Yeah. Tiffany wants to know what's the best top coat for bathroom cabinets. We use Sweet Pickens top coat or Big Top. Yep. Either one. Big Top's a little bit shinier. The trick is you want to let it cure really good, so at least a week. Four coats. Don't, don't skimp. Do four coats. Yeah, four coats and at least a week. If you live somewhere humid, maybe two weeks. So, like, make them use another bathroom or take real quick, not humid showers. Let me see if I, I've got, like, a box of, like, 25 of these. I picked these up the whole bin. It was a Tupperware bin. See all 25? I'm going to show them one of the ones that the gal had painted. Oh, those are chargers. Chargers, there you go. Well, the, this grandma was painting them like crazy. She used to be my neighbor till she died. I didn't know her. She was down the street. That's how we found the, the yard sale. It was down the street from yeah. the farmhouse. Can you give a shout out to your husband, Rick? Of course I can, Les. Hey, Rick. So, Rosie wants to buy the little chair. All right, so this chair was, I'll tell you guys, was 75 cents and apparently Rosie's gonna buy it and it's gonna be 5.95. Rosie, you are a chronic, uh, I mean, frequent shopper. So just you know the drill, email Jamie Ray Vintage Home or info at jamierayvintagehome.com. Let Caitlin know you want this. We'll Did you this talk time. about the channel member that upgraded to creative business? What? I didn't even you see missed that. it. Oh, okay. All right, so this charger is you can see the duck, it's like half done, the beak's not there. This is the kind of thing she was doing with them. There's a bunch of them. Most of them are unpainted, but there's a couple that have some fun paintings on them. So welcome Sonia Munoz. Um, her icon says something vintage. I can't read the font. Um, Sonia, make sure you email creativebusiness at jamierayvintage.com. Give Mariah your Facebook name and your email address, and she will get you added to the private business coaching group. And once you get there, hit up files, and you can watch every video since January, and we go live on Tuesdays. Thanks for joining us. So this right. is a really, I've not, we've seen similar styles, but this is really narrow. That's the diet gravy boat. The diet gravy slash. Because it's slim. I almost want to call it a creamer, because you can you could put a little few ounces of cream in there and you're done. Or maybe uh, maybe two servings of syrup. Oh, she just joined regular business. Oops, sorry. Oh. Don't email Creative Business. Just hit I up Humidity. It was, I thought it was... Oh, well, you know, channel... Now you know how to do the channel membership Sorry. for business coaching so if Sonia, you want it on that. Sonia, just check up Community. If you scroll through, you're going to see um, members only posts. So look for that. Sorry. That I told promise me business coaching. I'm going to get the printable up. Two of them. You're going to get two of them. Promises, once. promises. Two... Of the chickens. I chicken have the printables. picture... It's going to be great. Well, I'm going to do it in color and black and white for both so you have options so you can print them out. And then we're going to do a series of them as they're kind of growing. So if you want in on that, that is available to Sonia. And it's coming like in the next it's tonight coming. or uh, Monday. Cause... Also emojis. Don't forget to use those, Sonia, because now you got all the JRV emojis. Um, also, Anna, we will definitely pray for your husband. I am sorry that he is having to go into isolation. Ooh, that's tough. Yeah. That's not good. I When I had swine flu, I was by myself for like three or four days in my thoughts alone. <laughs> it was real bad. So I can't even imagine. All right, let's see what else we got going on. Oh, Julie wants to know air dry clay. So IOD is still sold out of air dry clay, but we have added to jamierayvintage.com the paper clay in eight ounce by Creative, which is really good quality it's a little bit fluffier but it's better than nothing so we've got that on the website just go to jamierayvintage.com and it's the creative paper clay comes in eight ounces. it's about the same price as the iod is just a smaller package so okay this bowl tell me about it was it thrifted it doesn't have a price tag on it or was this something that someone left on the back porch it says 7016 usa that was from the free yard sale Oh. It looks like stoneware to me. The, I, you know, I probably saw this on the table and wasn't willing to pay Julia for it. Julia likes it. I don't, personally, I don't uh, go for uh, pastel colors, but it does, it's got a good combo with the cream. No, I like it with the blue and the cream. Odelia says it's cute. Odelia, by the way, cleaned my studio today while That's she was so at the job, shop. Odelia. And she also helped me for Father's Day. Odelia and I cleaned the farmhouse. And by clean the farmhouse, I mean 
we cleaned the oh, farmhouse. They did an excellent job in there sweeping and cleaning. All I my tools are in the box. Wound up all of your uh, cords, put all the tools away. We can see the kitchen island. It's in stories if you want to see how clean it is. This was $3. It's a bird cage without a door, does not have a door, but always fun to display. You could do candles, a little flower scene in there, or just hang it on the shelf, you know? Just all yeah. by itself. I think it's super cute, but look, watch here. Can you stuff those in there where they fit? Um, Can you do it without breaking it? Challenge accepted. What are these from? Tell us about these flowers. Those are from DI, and I don't they know. They were a dollar. They were a dollar. And I would probably sell it for like six bucks for the bundle. Oh, don't break the berries. Don't I'm break not the berries. breaking the berries. Hold on, look away. I'll look away too. No, you have to watch. I can't. I can't watch. I'm going by feel at this point. Oh my goodness. Stop. All right, well, you're doing that. They want to see my blouse. This is the Dusty Rose Flower Blouse. It's the newest item at jamierayvintagehome.com for JRV Closet. And it has this fun ruffle. It goes all the way around each side. And this is a small. I'm about 150 pounds. It's definitely generous. So it's uh, true to size, although probably maybe a little big because I'm not really a small normally. So. I'm going to say that that now comes with those flowers because I don't know that I can get them out without wrecking it. <laughs> All right. Well, with the flowers, I'm going to say 1995. There's oh. a little egg in this flower. Oh, there is? Well, it's like some sort of bulbous egg. I was like, that's egg. not a, that's a bulb. That's like not an egg. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention it. I'm really bad. The sale's been going on since yesterday. All of our clothes are 15% off. It's the first time we've ever marked down clothes. You just have to use the word closet. So go to JamieRayVintageHome.com. Look under JRV Closet. Here's the thing. If you're on your phone and you click it, when you scroll down, you have to hit load more because we have 151 items in JRV Closet. So just keep hitting load more. <laughs> I know I've been doing And there's... There's some more. Are they, that's not even including separate sizes. That's just like individual. No, that's 151. Yes. And then the, they have different sizes. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can and wear that much variants. clothing. Challenge accepted. I can wear that many clothing. Okay. And next week we'll get new stuff up. But anyways, there's free shipping and 15% off. So just, Caitlin dropped that link in there, but just make sure you hit it up by tomorrow night. Code closet. No price tag on this. This is like an oil rub. That was bronze. free from the yard sale. Is why oh, I price also tag free. On. It's like an oil run rubbed bronze color. You know, we uh, we had a debate about the oil rubbed bronze. We had to buy a metal garage door that seals to keep you know like the CO two and things from your car out of the rest of the house. It has to be able to seal. It, they're ugly. And we had to go on. with a fire door too to meet code. So. We had to just go buy one new. It couldn't have been a used, old used door. And all the handles, Jamie's I was like, like I'll what just are put you some... getting at here? Now she, I get Jamie's it. like, I'll just put some cute hardware on it and it'll be fine. It'll look really good. And we could not find any hardware that she liked. So she ordered off the Amazon. The reason he's telling you that is because all they have at Home Depot and oil Lowe's rubbed bronze. is oil rubbed bronze, which Nothing is okay. Nothing black. Nothing black. But it's been fashionable to use matte black for at least five years. And you can't find it anywhere except for upscale hardware stores or Amazon. Is so, that a thing? Upscale hardware stores? Oh my goodness. We have not even touched the surface. I've been looking for the uh, hardware for our bath, master bath and I'm finding <laughs> hard, I'm finding shower hardware and stuff that's like a thousand dollars for a set. I'm like, no, no. I will make my own. We will forge it. Yeah, I will get a forge for a thousand dollars less than that and i will make you some special it. faucets and my icy? it's over there somewhere what? all right I these, over here I to drink these candlesticks are cast iron that have been screwed together there's two sides and then the top for serious where's my icy it's over there you left it over there on the ground like look around look around there no, it is no i put it right there that's on the ground that's low for me so these are also <laughs> they double as a weapon they're super heavy. If you can swing these, you're doing good because they're hard to lift. Oh, eBay for bath fixtures. I'll have to check that out. Mm, yeah. I haven't ordered on eBay in forever. Mostly because I buy everything at thrift stores or wholesale. So two of these. And are these thrifted? I don't. I yes, didn't go were, thrifting with Jamie again this week. I was getting the garage doors prepped. So these editing. were $10 each. You were editing this point. Um, and I would sell them for probably like 
$39.95 each. Yeah, they're big, they're heavy, and they've got great detail. And they're they're going to cost a million, three dollars to ship. They're going to look real good printed or painted. So unfortunately, you shove that ball of flowers in that birdcage because they actually look really cute right on top. So I these would be perfect see. if you have like a little orb of flowers or a little, oh, just go get me that one from the week before that Ikea one. I'll get that. it out. Okay, so you could even put like greenery on them because they have the little dip in them. So you could do candles, but also greenery. The trick is you can't go head first with this flower arrangement. You got to go feet first. I vote Zeb makes the faucets. <laughs> uh, okay, you guys, I bought that hutch today because Zeb is already making too many things. Uh -oh. He don't. Okay, that one lost the whole flower. This is what I was talking about, the weird egg things. Like it lost it like it can't go back on? Oh, you pulled it out of the orb. Let's give it back, I'll fix it. You're gonna, you have a date with a hot glue gun, Zeb. All right, it's, it's for serious staying in there now. Okay. Oh, cobwebs on here and Barbara's never up this late, but apparently tonight she is. Barbara with a blue butterfly. Look at Lee Valley Tolls. I'll have to look that up. What did Frida say? Oh, I'll put one under my bed for a weapon. Like, legit. This is kind of heavy. You could, like, use it for working out, too. Yeah, I would wager it weighs about 20 pounds. Yeah. No, it's probably, like, yeah, like 15, 20. No, it's 20. I'm tough. It's definitely 20. Now that I'm out of breath. Oh, also, I didn't mention that, but if you see anything you like here today and you want it as is, not painted, because if, it's, you've got, if you want it painted, you got to wait till we get it done. You just email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and Caitlin will tell you the price with shipping and she can invoice you and we will ship it out to you. All right, next, this was a $4 lantern. The lanterns are hot. We can never keep them. I know. I, know. I wish I would have got it at the yard sale. 18 people are going to email Caitlin right now. I want that lantern. It would have been $3 had I bought it at the yard sale it was at, but it was $4 at the DI. And for me, that's like $16.95. The outside is all metal. It's awesome. Even the feet. Oh, super chat. Sally Vons Walsh. Thank you, says, Sally. What product was Zeb spraying on the ship lot today at the farmhouse? Something to seal the paint? So it was that, paint. It, that was actually paint. I, we, have, we have a big industrial paint sprayer so we can do all the insides of the house and the outside. We just bought that from Harbor Freight for like 250 Well, bucks. and it may have looked like he was sealing it because it was white already, but that's mm. just the primer. So we have to use shellac-based primer. You can also use... Salvation Solution, but we had to buy five gallons. Yeah, Salvation Solution of, comes in pints. It's a lot of uh, shit. So if you're just on using walls. like one room, you could do a couple pints, but we have five gallons. Anyway, so we prime it and then we use Sherwin Williams in pure white, is the color that we're using at the Yeah, house. latex on the walls. It's acrylic based. Oh, is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sherwin Williams stepping it's, up it's their fancy game. fancy with primer. It's like, the, it's like a really almost matte, but more of a satin, but it's washable. All right, give the people a price on this before they go I crazy. I did. I said sixteen ninety five. Oh, okay. Like okay. two minutes ago, that was pre paint talk. I just saw the super chat, and then we jumped right into. Uh, what color you're painting, painting the candlesticks? Walls. Probably white, actually, because those have a lot of detail, and, and with that really cast dark. iron underneath, it would look beautiful. Tracy's taking a break from drying apricots. Ooh, Tracy Zeb loves apricots. I do. So we. I have to tell him, like, be careful, buddy. I didn't buy that much toilet paper. That's how much he loves apricots. <laughs> When I was growing up, the church that we went to had a uh, whole orchard of apricots and no one would do anything with them. And my mom, when we moved into town, was like, this is now my orchard of apricots and we will get apricots every summer Just and like can that. them forever. Well, Just like that. Like his we, mom is very industrious. We went to the church as a kid and we, they had a garden plot too. And my dad, we tilled that whole thing up like a half acre and we grew a big garden there at the church and at the church it was at the church like on the church grounds <laughs> and the that orchard of like apricots was like, like part of the landscaping hey, um, but I know my mom's like to... apricot orchard <laughs> <laughs> your mom's like hey i know you're trying to learn about jesus here but we're also going to grow a garden yeah, um, I was in Baghdad, Arizona. Very small mining, area. Small mining town. Tracy says she lives in Pleasant Grove. If she gets to Lehigh, I, well, Pleasant Grove is kind of far from Lehigh. It's not. So we could walk there. If you bring them apricots, <laughs> we'll give you twenty percent off of any item in the shop. Oh, what? Hey, yeah. you like dried apricots? That's a good deal. All right, so let's talk about. Uh, Cobweb says she likes my star cuffs on the website. I should go get one so people can see them. They're really. But let's cute. tell them about this basket. The it's basket plastic. is vintage seventies. Plastic made in Greece 
for a dollar, and I'm thinking it's worth at least $12.95. It's missing two little beads, but that's okay. That just means it's authentic and good. It's authentic and good. That's what that means when it's missing a couple beads. It's had a life and it's got some history there. All right, I'm going to keep on with the showing you of the goodies. On. I'm going to put this bracelet on. I actually wear my rhinestone one all the time, but I was working today. And I didn't want to get some. Anytime so Jamie can find flowers like this, she grabs them. I she know. loves them. They look good painted. So this is the cuff that Cobwebs was talking about. It's the only cuff I found that I like. And it's pretty comfy, but you do want to measure a wrist because I put the measurements on there. It's about seven and a half inches. Yeah, Lehigh Roller Mills is uh, pretty good. They sell flour all over the West here. We have Lehigh Roller Mills flour at our house right now. Yeah, they, they found it in Washington. 25 pound bags. Okay, so this doesn't have a price. I've just been showing it. Oh, that's for... from Sue. Oh, from Sue. Well, I would pay you, $2 Sue. and I'll probably sell it painted for like 12 to 14 It looks like Capo Diamante. That's right, Sandra. That's mm -hmm. why I like it. We did that. Um, I did the lamp, and I put that on our last Stay at Home Shopping Network, and it sold for sixty nine ninety five, I think. So this is the deal of the century. Hammered tin. Hammered tin, seventy five cents. Somebody was on crack at the thrift store. Seventy five cents. Not they never have pictures that cheap. I think it's worth twelve ninety five. I think it's cute. It'd be perfect for like tin. Always keeps your water really cool. Now I don't know. Is tin safe to drink out of? Should you just? decorate with it it's from nasco italy or that's that's the maker at least nasco yeah no nasco's from italy N -A -S -C -O. let me google that so look at the tin top picture you know NASCO. the shape of this top makes it look oh it's a little the one of the rivets are broken out of this side that's okay you just a little glue there and done oh so this, they're actually worth a little bit of ching can you say that? Let's call it money. Money? Can you not say? I don't know if you can say it. I just said it. <laughs> um, so yeah, like twelve ninety five. So this bottle, I got this for a dollar from the yard sale. I like the green on it and the top. It's got a frog. Is that what that's for? For that's, flowers? Mm -hmm. I love it that you know that a frog is for flowers. So I was thinking it was like for some Tim real good thick spices. All right, thanks, Denise. Get that on your your plate. You know, you gotta really shake it out. Caitlin's calling dibs, but I don't know on what. So this is THT two zero zero four is what it Heidi says. Is. Vintage mid century New Orleans woven plastic tray. How much is that worse than Plessity Beep? Okay, so these are from Sue also, right? Cheryl says she never finds frogs. Yeah, these are also from Sue. So these are going to go. I have a random bottle collection. It's $3.95. And I put all my little random bottles in there. And when people order them, the gals that ship for me literally close their eyes and grab bottles at random. So they go in the mix. So sometimes you get cool blue and green ones. Sometimes they're amber. Sometimes they're clear glass, but they're like old medicine jars. We sell a lot of random jars for $3.95. Probably enough that eventually I'll put Jack through college on random jars. Man, Jack How much for college. the bottle and the frog? Oh, this is $9.95. Oh, yeah, we didn't mention that. I was just showing I, How much did you pay for it? It it's was a dollar at the yard sale. It's not super old. It says THT 2004. Yeah. This is like so a little barrel glass. This is my favorite. I love these little uh, clasps lid slash jars and this is a tiny little one i love it i don't know why the small little jars they're my favorite and caitlin put on there we do go in order so if you want something email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and caitlin responds on monday and goes through an order and offers to whoever emailed us first about an item she's really good about that candelabra this is a cool I bought one it because you like to say that i like to say can i basically all candlesticks that are fancy should oh, be you called dibs on the chairs. What chairs? The big chairs that we haven't shown yet? I don't know. Maybe. She'll email Caitlin and Caitlin will Someone tell me wanted life. the little chair that you were showing. Oh, I, I think, think there's, a, there's I think there's a little uh, chair war going on. Oh, well, Caitlin will solve all wars. She's like the, uh, the she's the peacemaker. So this will probably get painted all one color. I don't, maybe this one's screws. Do they come off? I don't think they come off. They're cool. I don't know. How much was this? Four dollars. And I'll sell it for probably like nineteen ninety five. Part metal, part wood, and then some felt on the bottom for good measure. 
Oh, she wants the chairs that are up front that we haven't shown yet. Oh, got it. Know. There's okay. they're the press. Oh. oh, my mom and dad are watching. Hey, mom and dad. Hey, what's up? Could have used your help at the farmhouse oh, leveling out the garage door today. Home interior. That's what that looks like. So I have no idea on these jars what I'm going to ask. These were given to me by Sue. Look at this. Old I that know that the old. square ones are worth a little bit more, but I don't know the exact age, so I'm going to have to do some research. But these will go up on the website at jamierayvintagehome.com. Um, this is a number seven. Which one is it that's like for bootleg This is another, liquor? this one's the number 13th? eight. Yeah, none of these are 13. Four. That one's got nine. like a X on it with a little over the top. Wait, oh, whoosh, let me see. Oh, that looks, yeah, that's weird. Oh, maybe it's it's a four. It's a <laughs> so just, I was looking at it like just, this. I was like, what is that symbol? And then I flipped it and I'm like, oh, it's a four. That symbol, my friend, <laughs> is the number four. I was like, man, that's crazy. What is that? Is that, is that Greek? <laughs> All right, I moving think on. I the sunshine is getting to you. These are cool. Here, you show them these ones. Because you um, love those. Lord Pinkleton, to get the code on the clothes, the code is CLOSET. C-L-O-S-E-T. So just type in CLOSET when you check out. Okay, so watch out. Throwing stuff. <laughs> I'll just move these over here. Just a fun little uh, white, I don't even know, is it a oh, mug? Is Simplicity it a container? says that $12 it's, to $15, so we were on right point with that. Says number two. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I always think it's weird when they call things number two, because at our house, number two only means one thing. Well, this and that's one's not number a three. Jar. I don't know what number three is. Both at the same time? These are not chamber pots. They are decorative pots. I could not find number one. So I just like drawing. anything with numbers on it. So I'll wash them and put them in the store for like, they were 75 cents. They'll be cool. Like they, 6 95 They would be good with like flowers or something in them. Eight ninety five. Yeah. They'd be cute with flowers. And I think this is another Sue glass. Sue also. It's, this picture is awesome. <laughs> Somebody it's said It's the blue. right color green. Obviously, they don't talk about the same things at their house that we do. It says mod depth 250 milliliters, but the top is cool. The handle does not connect on the bottom, but that's on purpose. So these are also from Little. Sue. And these are piggy napkin holders. And what are those made of? Are they like... These are pewter. Pewter? Yeah. Pewter piggy napkin holders. Set of four. She paid a $1.99. Sorry, I had an icy hiccup. $1.99 at Savers. And I'm thinking that this set's probably worth $12.95. And they're stinking cute. And I'm pretty sure somebody is emailing Caitlin right now at info at jamierayvintagehome.com because I've never seen them. Pewter piggy napkin holders. They are cool. They are. I mean, I don't even use napkin holders when I think that I need one. All right. Those are, I was excited when I got those. Okay. Right. Wood bowl. Oh, we have another charger. Oh. This is from that same haul. It was going to be some flowers. Eliza told me what number three is, but I'm not going to repeat it. She's watching my live because she's bored. I love that Eliza announced, I'm watching your live because I'm bored. Thanks, Eliza. Odelia is watching it because she likes it. Super chat. Super chat from Anna because you're a bright spot in my COVID isolation hospital room. Oh, no. Sorry, Anna. Hope you're hope I'm, you're Well, doing I'm sorry right. that you're in the COVID isolation, but happy that we could be a bright spot. Even when we're talking about, like, bathroom talk. Okay, let's move on. We got a cloche. Little tiny one. Little baby one, and it was 75 cents. It does not go like that. Are you sure? Because this mountain of a wood bowl now seems awesome because the cloche is on I'm there. I'm sure. 75 cents. $6.95 in Jamie Ray Vintage math. So I'll probably pair that though with a silver dish and then it'll be like $16.95. So this is cool. This is a segmented segmented turned wood bowl. Probably originally from the uh, the place called Target. Actually, this looks like a wood shop project, which you know oh, we okay. did we did some of these in wood shop. I could do these for you, so but they're time consuming and you usually so don't get to I say Target, Zeb says wood shop. The DI says a dollar fifty, and I say, as is probably like twelve to fourteen, and if I paint it, nineteen ninety five, because those wood bowls are popular. The only reason I say wood shop is because I mean maybe it's not, maybe it's it's. Uh, it's Can you add a thinning or a knob? I don't dare drill through that glass. 
No, yeah. I like it the way that it is. It's kind of just simple. It's really, it's pretty thin, so I think if we drilled through it, it'd be end of the story for it. Fanny said it looked like a spaceship. But that's why I think it's maybe a shop project, just because of the way the bottom's finished. Usually, from like manufacturer standpoint, they don't take the time to hollow out the center. They uh, they screw it on and then they just oh, cut Carrie that part said, off. Carrie said to put fairy lights. That would be very cute in that fairy lights. Yeah. Oh, I have a clock sitting over here. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the bottom of the barrel of my icy. You know what's weird? I was driving home from the farmhouse today and I saw this woman with a giant icy and then I just had to have one. And we also have a clock. Clock. This was $10. This was an excellent buy at $10. It's resin. Actually, no, this is foam. It's like a foam style with a plastic covering. It says covering. Hor horological. What does it say? Clock? Horological? Yeah. Is that what that word? Uh, sure. Made in China. So that means high end. It's got the two... For the, oh, it's from the Bombay Company. So That's why it's cute. These they two are functional. The batteries, they have separate batteries back here. Hold on. Somebody ordered something from Jamie Ray Vintage Home. Let me see. I'm distracted. So you can see all three have their own mechanism. So it keeps, and it's written in French on the face, so it keeps time and then yeah, one hand keeps the seconds. Le Holorgy. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Anyway. So I'm probably going to paint this and then it'll sell for $39 to $49 because it is awesome. What did Ashley buy? Ashley bought the Rose Joggers, which have been extremely popular. And then she got the Dusty Rose shirt and she put the coat in to save herself 15%. And the nice thing about those Rose Joggers, guys, you guys have been asking for it, they go up to 3XL. They're soft and they have pockets. Just saying. I got you these. You got me. I bought those. Are these for Father's Day? Yeah, it's for Father's Day. I bought you pink flake flowers because I know they're your favorite. Yeah, they smell like dust. <laughs> They're dusty rose. Ah, uh, touche. <laughs> okay, so there were there are two bunches there. They're cabbage roses, four dollars each. You guys, I will sell each cabbage rose individually for three ninety five in my shop. So do we'll the blow math. them off with the air hose. Do the math here. These are cash They're cow. They're silk. They're, they're like really high quality, like nice, and I will sell them. The rose buds maybe two ninety five for those. I don't know. I think that they're. Some of them, okay, so this one is a stem. They this actually one comes have with, thorns on the stem. Yeah, this one comes with a rosebud and a rose, but they'll be $3.95 each. And if you were to buy them at another store, they'd probably be closer to 8 or $9. You got $9. gypped. One of these flowers is missing. Some... I didn't get gypped. They were $4. And they're going to look great in the shop. I have a few things that are, like, really tall that need, like, tall vases and things. And I have a couple ammo cans. Or there's that rusty can from last week. I would look, I think that one would look really good with it. Oh, you know what we haven't shown? This, so these, someone dropped these by. Oh, Angelica Trio, I am getting more brain sack aprons. Email Caitlin. Tell her you want one and you will get on the list. I have a couple in the shop right now that are not spoken for and we will send you pictures. And if you don't get to those, I'm ordering. I talked to my gal, she sewed another half a dozen and I will have them. So email Caitlin so that way you get first dibs. So these are snowflakes and the wires are all bent out of shape, but I think- They're for tree toppers. Are you sure? Because- Yeah, because we own one just like this at home. Yeah, but we usually set it by the nativity. Yeah, I don't, well, yeah, I know because I don't put this on top of my tree. So I think these look really great next to like a rustic looking nativity. Do you guys watch the video last year where I painted my nativity apothecary? <laughs> Anyways, it was a I, little broke. It, it was it like had 18 been, years old. It had been abused, yeah. And so I have this particular star that was a tree topper by my nativity. And somebody dropped off a bunch of Christmas stuff out on our back porch. If it was you, comment below and let us know. And these were in it. And I thought that was really fun because these are just like the ones I have at home. And every time somebody watches that video, we get emails about where to get one. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six of these. And I would pay upwards of $2 for them and we'll sell them for like $12.95. I'd probably pay 2 to $4 for them. They're these. metal, so they, they'll hold up. Yeah. So a couple of them are a little bent out of shape, but that's okay. But they can Zip be rebent. Force his will upon them. And we could be twinners because I have the same one. That one's going to need more love on the spring. 
All right. Well, maybe that one's a 9.95er. Yep. Some of these are in a little more. I just like it because they gave me six of them, so it'll make it really easy if I have to list them on the website. Yeah, I'm gonna have to spend some time bending these back to shape. Linda says Happy Father's Day, Zeb. Oh, thanks. All right, let's see. Caitlin, Deborah said it's gone. I just would like to replace it somehow. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, let's see. I, oh, Tammy says she has one of those tree toppers too. Tammy, where did we buy our tree toppers? Do you know? I've had mine for so many years that I can't remember where it came from. This is free shelf from the yard sale. Yes, and I will sell it for twelve ninety five with a cute new paint job. You know me; I'm a sucker for scallops. Have you seen my logo? So I saw that, and I was like, "That needs to be painted apothecary, and it'll be a, a like quintessential Jamie Ray show." You know, currently we don't have any scallops in the farmhouse. Should I scallop the kitchen shelves? No. Too much. Yeah. Okay. But. I could make it subtle like this with the CNC and just put it on the front. But of we each could shelf. do like a bench or something somewhere with a scallop, or we, we could have... do scallops in. We could scallop the reading nook. Oh, we haven't even told them about the reading nook. Oh, that's a new development. This is a funny story about the reading nook. So, we were going to just do drawers underneath the stairs of the farmhouse, and so I went on Pinterest. You should never do that. And I saw these reading nooks that they put underneath, and I was like, I gotta have that. So I tell Odelia, Odelia, we're gonna put a reading nook under the stairs with a mattress. But Odelia said, you're gonna put a what? A breeding nook? I said, no, a reading nook, not a breeding nook. We are we done having children. <laughs> but I, like, I said mattress, and automatically her mind went to breeding. I was like, oh my gosh. Anyways. She took it there. So we're putting, yeah, we could put scallop shelves in the reading nook. I don't, these magically Oh, appear. Leslie got the plus size joggers. And Leslie, the word has it out that I have ordered plus size Palazzo pants. Oh. Say that three times fast. I can't. I can't say do it, it once. I can't. Do I don't, it. How do you spell it? Plus size Palazzo. Plus size Palazzo. Plus size Palazzo. Pants. <laughs> you were skipping the pants. I think if you threw the pants in there, that might be harder. All right. All right I so see these. Now. These are bundles of, uh, they look like uh, Sticks. vines, like grapevines. Grapevines, yeah. And they are, this also came from the same mystery uh, dropper offer that left me the Christmas stuff. There's actually way more that we'll have to show you next week. I haven't gone through it all. Yeah, we I have a these. few things that we haven't been getting to because we've and, been thrifting again. And I know some people will be like, oh, they're just sticks. But these are these are good sticks, and they're worth at least $20 a bundle. Yeah, well, and you can't But I'm not them shipping anymore, them really. for that price because they would take way more to ship. If, if you, you want them if shipped, you go get them there's in the floral a floral section over at, like, the Oh, they'd the be like 50 store. bucks. Yeah. Easily. There's but in my shop, I'll sell them for 20 Not too shabby, Patty says, you need a sign for the teenagers. No breeding in the reading book. <laughs> I do not want to be raising grandchildren. <laughs> yeah, no. Odelia said that would be funny. And then her husband would say, what? A breeding nook? Let's practice, Ivana. Oh, those came from Donna. These are so tiny are they not and the small. Cutest? So those are from Donna Boyce. And she sent me those. And she works at the Goodwill, which I think is probably, if I didn't do what I would do, I would work at a thrift store. You know, store. I've always had, I would have a hard time because I went in the back room at the DI one time to pick something it's up like that they heaven. were holding for us. And I was like, why is this stuff not out on the floor? They had aisles and aisles stacked to the ceiling of goodies. It's like heaven. I'm like, you guys, you need to process this faster because I need it. This little set, I have no idea what it's actually worth, but for me it's worth $12.95 because these are the cutest mini salt and pepper shakers with the tarnished tops. And they, she also sent me little mini irons. $12.95 for this little mini irons. baby set. Let's see the mini irons. Did you get them? Yeah. There we go. Oh, they are tiny. Oh, are they metal? Yes, and they're hand painted. That's they have cool. little corks They're like in the doll back. irons. They're like cast iron. Well, I think that's what the old irons are made of. Ooh, this one's a little slightly bent. Wait for um, it. These are at least four ninety five dollars no because these are the cutest little things. Look like they iron your shirt. Is there a cork in the back of this? Yeah, one? I don't know why there's a cork in the back. Because you're supposed to put hot water in them, boiling oh. water in them, I think. Laura, who is also a chronic Jamie Ray vintage shopper, has just emailed Caitlin. I didn't read the email. I just saw the title because I see the I see the emails, but I'm not allowed to open them because it messes with Caitlin's system. These are salt and pepper shakers. There is a cork in the back of them. And they have holes in the front. These are awesome. 
Okay, Murphy wants to know if I'm going to try on the cheetah joggers. Not tonight, but I will. I'll wear them Thursday. Took some doing, but I figured it out. These are salt and pepper shakers. Look how cool that is. See the little holes? I don't know how much pepper's getting out of that. Oh, they're they're salt and pepper shakers? Yeah, look, they have corks in the back. What's the, where's the, comes off. Oh, no, sorry, this is a set. And these are probably 12, I would not break them up. Twelve ninety five for the set. That is the cutest thing I ever saw. They're cool. All right, so we got a bunch of houses that Jamie thrifted. I'm going to try Those to... were an Odelia buy. Oh, these are an Odelia buy? Somebody must... Did somebody turn my phone to go to sleep in like three seconds? I keep having to unlock it. It's because you put it on low power. Laura has emailed twice already. <laughs> Laura, I know that people shop a lot when I click the name and it's like, you have 24 orders. I was like, we are friends. All right, so this is Odelia's mini house collection. We picked them up at the DI for 75 cents each. We are going to paint each of them apothecary and sell them individually in the store for $9.95 each because I think they would be so cute if you wanted a little more farmhouse style Christmas set or as is, I'd probably sell them for about $6.95 each. Aren't they cute? I think. Do they have any chips? I don't think There's some so. that have a couple little chips but here and there. Little. Like this one's missing some toppers oh, off Dilly of the chimney. Oh, Dilly said, wait, don't paint them. Okay, so apparently we're not painting them. So they're missing some chimneys. This this looks like it was the church. It's it's missing probably like it's a bell tower. Okay, so, so $6.95 each then because Odelia says we're not painting them. Everybody says don't paint them. Okay. People didn't like when I painted the nativity either, but then it started a trend, just throwing it out there. But I'm not going to paint them because they were Odelia's find and she says no. So this is... Those are collectibles. Well, they're resin, I oh, think. Oh, they are. So but they this are collectibles. Is, they are. So it's the International... Hold on. Resourcing Services. Resourcing Services. That is a weird name for... Uh, this is hand... Aunt Alice's Quilt Shop is the one I have here. So they're a set. From 1990. This is Church of the Epiphany, an exclusive creation. This is Handy Andy Malloy's house. This is... Crescent Ridge, are we painting tonight? Berghoff we will, Butcher Shop. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's already 917. Maybe yeah, we're going to get to it here in a minute. We will paint something okay. tonight. We are going to paint something. It's the last thing we do. All right, we got to get through this live. Okay, I'm going to show them the stuff real quick. I got like a little pile here, and you got a little All pile right, there. We're almost done. Painting. We're almost time to start painting. This is porcelain. It was a $1.50 little heart-shaped jewelry box. I was also an Adelia find. That's a, that's a 9 dollars I don't. Where is it from? Um, this was China? made in Germany. Oh, Germany! That's awesome. I always love things that come from Europe. That is cute. Nine ninety five Germany hard box. Ow. I think we already showed this. We Ow, did. this got me, huh? We did already show this. Yes, I don't know why that's in there. Um, what am I going to paint, Zeb? Um, I thought you were going to... Oh, you were going to paint the houses, but apparently we're not painting I'm not them. allowed to paint the houses. What else do I got to paint? Here. You could paint the handles on this. I got no, this. I don't want to paint that. I got this for a dollar at that yard sale. I'll find something. It's reindeer and snowflakes and mountains. I can't, and then I can't not paint. This, these berries were, uh, I think they were left on the back porch. These sprigs. The How much would stuff. you sell this uh, reindeer rolling pin for? The reindeer I would say probably like eight ninety five. Yeah, it's it's not too big and it's not it's not like rare. You can get these, you can pick these up. Yep. I was gonna this, this was a dollar. <gasps> oh, you just broke that to pieces. Sue, I hope you're not watching. It's okay. I'll paint it. Nobody will know. I'll glue it for you. It'll be. It's okay. fine. That's why you paint things. So, I don't know. Those sell for those rolling pins sell for twenty four ninety five. So if somebody buys it from us for eight ninety five, they're getting a deal. That glass. <laughs> the glass the, ice. The glass ice was a bonus with this buy. Yeah. I bought a the brass, brass container for a dollar. With free glass. I'm not even like. And what part of your life do you say? You know what? I think I need some fake ice. I got the can. How much would you sell this for? Oh, probably like eight ninety five. We're not. We're not selling the ice. It's heavy. Yeah. The ice is a free gift with purchase unless we These ship it. These brass candlesticks were a dollar for the pair from the, the yard sale. And I would say nine ninety five each, so that's a good, that was a good buy. That one was good. My best buy is coming up. Ice, ice, baby. 
They want us to paint. Oh, they're worth $40 for the rolling pin. Well, I'm still only selling it for eight ninety. dollars Well, it's because they're laser cut and it's, it takes a hot minute to cut all that out. Oh, well, hopefully somebody buys them. So these get are towel racks, I think. What? Towel rack. What did you buy those for? I didn't buy these. They were oh. on the back porch. Oh, somebody left them for us. They are really cute. I don't know what we'll do with them. Yeah, if I didn't have a purpose. In, rocks in your I life. did not have a purpose for these when I when I found them over here on the shelf. Okay, I thought maybe you bought them for something. And then this I think was also left, yeah. This tin with some holly. Yes. And that's gonna get painted. I don't know what color, probably like red or green because it's Christmassy. And now for my best find. Wait um, for it, it's coming up. Oh, we need to show the chairs that Heidi wants to buy. I'll Heidi, show the if chairs. I'm painting the chairs, they're going to be $49.95. And if you don't want them painted, they are $29.95. So I was at the yard sale and I was. They're getting, bomb chairs. I was wheeling and dealing. And so they had these listed for a dollar a baggie. And there are about 50 bags in this. And I'm like, what's your best bundle deal on this? And that's all I said. I just asked. And, there, and the gal was like, $25 for the whole thing. So I got all this costume jewelry for let 25 me, bucks. Let me tell you about the costume jewelry, you guys. Ready? Do you remember when we opened the shop and I bought like $25 worth of jewelry? Everybody's like, you're never going to make $600 off of that. I have sold almost every single piece. And mind you, there were hun over 100 some odd pieces for between $3.95 and $5.95 a piece. You do the math. So this Costume one baggie has... A cash cow. So this one baggie has one, two, three, four, five bracelets. How much do we sell a bracelet for? $3.95. And here's the deal. We just have like, I don't even individually price them. I have a sign in my used jewelry section. It has all the prices on it. So I don't even have to waste time pricing them or inventorying them. We do, my daughter Eliza loves to play in the jewelry, so she gets in charge of it. She sanitizes everything with alcohol, and then we put new, like, we buy the little jewelry hook things, you know, and the, the earring things, and we put them up, and people buy them. Lots of people come in the shop, and they weren't planning on buying anything, but they'll spend $3.95 or $5.95 on a piece of jewelry, and I sell it all day long. They have a cute little jewelry bar. Some of this is brand new. Like, this is still on the tag. Oh, well, Julia, were... oh, Julia already has been through that and took a few pairs of earrings. Yeah, I saw she had some big dangly ones on the Yeah, some day. heart dangly earrings. So these ones were originally $20. They're still brand new on the tag with the tag here. And we have a few pieces that were stamped sterling silver that we got from that $25 bundle that I haven't since September had time to go to the jewelry store. But they could have real diamonds in them. Out so some of these, I'm, I'm, not I'm hiding the off pig. camera so I can... Tiggany, I am not painting the pig. It's too cute. I'm hiding off camera so I can show you guys some of this stuff. So there are probably over a hundred pieces here because some of this has like four or five things in a bag. So Brianna says she's about to hit up yard sale jewelry. I'm telling you, man, like you don't think it. Nobody goes to yard sale and thinks, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to buy all this jewelry, but I'm, it, people love it. How much do you do? It doesn't little, take up a lot of space. How either. much do you do the little bracelets like these for? Are these also three ninety five? dollars Yeah. So all necklaces are five ninety five. dollars Bracelets, rings, and earrings are $3.95. And like I said, we do take straight up alcohol and we disinfect everything. Yep, it'll all get a good soaking. Oh, this is a locket. What? All right, I'm going to let this dry. I'm Jamie's, something. Jamie's painting and I'm going through the jewelry. So I know, this, Zep's playing Pretty Pretty Princess I'm in the not, jewelry. but I'm excited yes. about the profit. The profit. That's all about the, the money. I'm all about those those dollars and cents. This dollar, is dollar bills. this is a functional locket, I think. Hang on, let me see if I can get it open. It's got a little twist. Oh, there it goes. Oh my goodness, it's a clock. What? It's a bracelet that's got a clock in there. That and would I, be called a watch. Well, a watch, whatever. <laughs> and it looks like it does need a battery. It's not. You're so funny. Oh my goodness, it's a clock. You mean it's a watch? It's got this little pearl kind of charm there. It's a bracelet and a clock. Um, I'm trying to see. Is oh, this, we, you is put this the nice tablecloth on. I didn't take the nice tablecloth off. Oh, well, it's been Oh, painted. you painted it. So Heidi says pretty, pretty princess, and she put a princess emoji. So this right. is stainless I'm gonna, steel. Can you give me the heat gun, sweetie? I'm going to heat gun this and stencil it. I'm going to make a little French but it's, here. But it's made in Japan. It's uh, Japan What happened to Zeb's thumb? What? Did something happen to your thumb? Oh, I thought they were talking about your hammer thumb. Uh, That's the other one. 
He just hammered his thumb, but it wasn't the I hammer. I smashed thumb. this like, like a week ago. It's in the video actually, yeah, from this morning. Oh. If you guys haven't seen that video. I smushed my finger the other day. I can't remember which one is. My hands are all. Should I, I paint this segmented bowl? Could you? You were over there. Could you grab me the heat gun? Yeah. Thanks. Sorry. Happy anyway, Father's Day, Heidi says. Only seven. I the jewelry clock. I know. Look at that. There's like a whole bag, probably over a hundred pieces in here, twenty-five Maybe bucks. Maybe find you a man that will go to yard sales and buy you a basket of costume jewelry. It's heaven right there. Is the heat gun not around here? Um, I may have put it up when I wandered through here. I'm just blowing hot air. Oh, <laughs> Jillian might have put it. So you <laughs> thought that was funny? That's over there laughing. Oh, Rhonda says I bought 15 shoe boxes full of jewelry for $200. That's I do it, man. Because you also never know what you're going to find in Grandma's jewelry. Sometimes you find, like, real jewelry, like, that's worth something. That, at least silver, usually, that you can find. And, whoa, she's moving the camera. She's all... Sorry. You're not going to reach with that. You need to plug it into the you extension not, cord. You did not... Um, what do you say? I said oh. you're not going to reach with that. You need to plug it into the extension cord. Oh. And you're also unplugged here. Could you could you get under there again? I don't know that I can do you that again. You plug this in, but like there's your max reach right there. That's not gonna work. Oh, that'll be fine. Don't burn the cloth. I'm fine. I knew what I was doing. Move my phone. Oh, I'm gonna paint one of those big candlesticks white, I think. Okay, yeah. Do we have paint, time? Do we have yeah, time I for have that? white right here, so just get a paintbrush. She must have had glitter in that box because there's glitter in my black paint. Huh? Glitter is like the herpes of the craft world. It gets everywhere. Does my blouse cover the bottom? Not, this one is not super long. It's long enough. I mean, it covers like half my bum. Like just the bottom of my cheeks hang out. I mean, I don't know if that's why you're asking, but... Deb, you have been cracking me up tonight. Dust and the green frog base. <laughs> I got me a man like Zeb in that his man cave is now my she shed for my crafting and he supports me. That's awesome. There you go. The thing is, Zeb's in the she shed crafting with me and buying the glitter. Um, you know what? I put a garage door on my garage today. You're over at the farmhouse. Such a man Although man. Jamie picked the garage doors out, so. They're, they're good. They've got windows up in the top. They're going to let a ton of light in all the time because they what face color? south. This is black velvet, which is like a soft black. So it's not like a blue, dark black. It's like a soft black. And now there's black velvet all I guess this cloth is now a uh, <clears throat> drop cloth. It's the perfect size for my French stencil that probably says I need to go to the bathroom. I don't even, I don't speak French. So when I design <laughs> these things, I'm like, I don't know. I had somebody say, why do you have a stencil that says saxophone for sale? I'm like, I don't know. I don't So speak. I was reading that, and I don't think that's what that says. Oh, okay, good. I thought it was an address. That's what I was told. Yeah, I think it is. Jean Marie says she loves black velvet. Hi, Jean Marie. I thought you were supposed to be on vacation. What? Is camping. there a vacation happening? Although she said she was going camping, and I looked at the cabin that they were at, and that didn't look like camping to me. It looked like my kind of camping. I was going to say, your kind of camping includes a hot shower and a full kitchen. <laughs> Jean, you will be happy to know that Christy got all those joggers tagged and put up yesterday. And Monday, she's coming in, and Lauren's coming in, and we're going to get that clothing room whipped into shape because we got five new boxes of stuff. I know. It's because everybody loves the clothes, so I just keep buying more clothes. So we took a little bit, because we found out the trusses are coming uh, July 2nd is when they're, well, they're getting made July 2nd. Oh, I thought they were coming July well, 2nd. Well, they might be delivered that day, depending on if they finish them early enough in the day. Oh, okay. Yeah, they said it's just a little they, late. They, they got to get them out of the yard, though, so they deliver them as soon as they make them. And, oh, okay. I mean, it might be, like, July 3rd. All right. So we have about a week and a half to finish the top framing. So I've been helping Jamie inside. We've got all of the eaves insulated, and the shiplap can go up. We've got to do some board and batten up on the very top of the ceiling where it's uh, where it's kind of more like a gable style roof on the front where the porch is. 
But other than that, the inside's coming along. We decided we are going to wait to do the floors. Until um, the roof is done. Until the roof is done, which, you know, once the trusses go up, uh, honestly, all I have to do is siding, and I can start working on the old part of the roof. Like, well, I, can, I can sheathe the house. We have a few small leaks. And nothing yeah. major, well, and I just don't want to do the floor and then have a leak on the yeah, floor. Yeah, there's, there's leaks where there used to be vents, and I pulled the vents out so that we could yes. paint the ceiling. So Grandma's old geese oh, plates turned go. into a French platter. So what I would do with this is I just put a cute little hanging hardware, and then this can go up on the wall. And we have a ton of grain sacks. We have a few different grain sack stencils that are around. We have that Royal River one. So I'm going to do a bunch of these with our round stencils. I really think I'm gonna go up to Cliff and Callie's and get some of the cottonwood oh, branches turn and turn. They've got some big stumps up there because they cut well, a bunch I think of trees I would do down. It and I would. Bad. Well, no, but like I, we have enough. I got like 25 of those. So things. if you guys are new, these are JRV stencils. You can pick them up at JamieRayVintage.com or go to JRVWholesale.com to be a retailer or find our retailer map to see if there's somebody near you that sells them. We also used the JRV stencil brush. This is the number 20, and I promise you that a good stencil brush makes all the difference. People tell me they can't stencil. You want a good stencil brush and nice, thick stencils. These aren't your cheap craft store stencils that work three times and then rip. They hold up. In fact, my manufacturer, I remember when I'm making them, she kept telling me, Jamie, that's way too thick, and I'm like, I don't care. I want thick so you can do them, and I have not had to replace one stencil, and I use them over and over again. So... They're good. And then the DIY paint, so. There is so much detail on this. It's take, even with the uh, French round brush, it's taken me a minute. All right, I, let's see. Leslie says that's gorgeous. And Jean says the cabin has Wi-Fi, so that's why I'm watching. <laughs> Jean just missed it. You know what? That's, that's not camping, Jean. That's just vacationing hey, in the mountains. Hey, you know what? It's my kind of camping. And Jean is, like everybody that works here, we're all friends. And... We just like hanging out. My friend Christy's like, it's just like going to hang out and I get paid to play in clothes and ship cool stuff. I'm like, sounds good to me. All right, I'm going to dry just the bottom parts. So that way we could just wet distress it and so show them kind of like what it's all going to look like. Okay. Because we're running a little. Are we running long? Behind. I don't know. It's the, the week's running long. It's only 9.32 and we got on like five minutes late. So oh, we're not so quite we got a couple now. minutes. Yeah. Well, literally... Let's see, I left the farmhouse at 810. Should we show them a picture while you're heat gunning that? Yeah, show them the new garage door. Let me see, is it on your, do you have one on Are your phone? Are we going to go put up the other garage door? We're not going to put it up, but I do have some tools that I left out in my haste to get over here. Well, don't tell people that. We haven't put them up yet. It'll be okay. So we have one garage door up. There's not... There's still a lot that needs to happen with the house, but we're going to move all the tools into the garage and things and lock it up. And that way we can really get to doing floors and stuff and finishing off the inside of the old house. But that's the style of garage door. You got to imagine another one right over here. Oh. So it's going to have two windows in each door. They're nine feet wide by eight feet tall. So you can get a pretty good sized vehicle in there. And there's two doors, so... All right, I'm just be, using water. Should be good once it's all painted white, because this is going to be painted white, and right up here is going to be a little standing seam uh, roof right over the garage. Little pergola pavilion. No, yeah. that, over the garage is the, the pavilion. The standing seam is over our windows. It's still standing seam. Oh, uh, the pavilion? Over, the yeah. flats? Yeah. All right, so if you use DIY paint or a paint that's water-soluble, Sweet Pickens does the same thing, you can wet distress it. This will not work with latex or spray paint. So I just got to say that because I have people message me all the time. I tried to wet distress, didn't work. So, oh, it's heavy, especially this late at night. Leslie Johnson, do I have a shop too? I have full control of the current two car garage we have now that is some storage, but mostly sawdust and things left over from the CNC machine and the lathe. He's going to get half of the garage. Yep. And we do sh we do a lot of work here at the shop. So the studio space doubles as filming slash storage for junk slash all the shoes for the shop. But we do a lot of projects here or on the back porch here at the shop. I would love to eventually maybe put like a outbuilding like behind here. 
um, and get a little bit of a little shop going for him, get a little swamp cooler. Did you see the swamp cooler, the Ryobi one today? I did see the Ryobi. It sits on top of a five gallon bucket. It's battery operated and you can take your swamp cooler like, wherever you go. I was like mind blown. <laughs> All right guys, this is the little commercial part of the video. If you would like to help us out, hit the share button. It'll copy this link and you can paste it on Facebook, email, text your friends. I don't care what you do, just share this video. Make sure you hit up jamierayvintage.com if you like the paint and the stencils we use today. We sell everything there. And if you like my shirt or you want home decor, go to jamierayvintagehome.com. And don't forget that we have a sale going through Sunday. Use the code CLOSET to save 50% on all clothes, shoes, and jewelry. They're free shipping always. And what, there's one more thing. Watch the farmhouse video from this morning. We did some cool yes. stuff inside the house and you get to see the vanity like 90% finished. I still have to do the silicone. I would say 85. Yeah, there's some stuff we got to do. And, I got to plumb it. And what, there was more thing I was going to say and I lost it. Hold Sorry. On. Oh, if there was anything that you wanted to buy tonight, <laughs> email info at jamierayvintagehome.com and check that description box. Zeb will make sure all that information is there below. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. Love you guys. Thanks for joining us this Saturday night. We had a great time. Don't forget to look for costume jewelry. Don't forget to buy jewelry at your garage sale.